With these frigid temperatures in the valley, the question becomes on how to protect your pets when you take them outside. From protecting their paws to treating frostbite, the Red River Animal Hospital, Emergency Hospital, excuse me, is reminding folks on what to do. Valley News Team's Aaron Walling has more. One, it's never wrong to call your vet. These cold temps are impacting many areas of the valley, and pets are no exception. The question becomes, how do you protect your pets during the frigid times? The symptoms of frostbite and exposure to these cold temps come in various forms, especially in the extremities. I mean, if you're noticing sudden changes, so you, you're outside for a while, you come in, and there's clearly a change where they, again, suddenly look lethargic, weak, um, the gums are pale. I, I would just I would just call, seek advice right away or come into the emergency hospital. According to Andy Carver, a veterinarian at the Red River Animal Emergency Hospital, this needs to happen first for treatment. And getting them warm as quickly as possible. Um, dry heat is definitely going to be good, so warm blankets, warm towels, um, definitely avoid uh, it's probably best to actually avoid warm water just because as that water cools down, they're going to be wet and they might get cold again. So, uh, you know, dry heat is helpful. And Carver says that pets should only be out in these temps for as long as you would want to without gloves or a hat. And so if you feel like you wouldn't want to be out without a hat and gloves for, you know, more than 30 seconds a minute, I think when it's this cold, just limit it to that amount of time on a leash only, probably just for them to go potty and then come back inside and and I think that'll keep them safe. In Fargo, Air Walling, Valley News Live. Carver also says it doesn't hurt to call your local vet clinic if you suspect that your pet is suffering from frostbite. He also says you might not see the symptoms until days later.